The biggest mistake people make when painting a sofa is letting the paint sit on the surface instead of working it into the fabric like a dye. This sofa had a lot of stains, rips, and tears, but we transformed it with DIY paint. super fun to paint with a friend. It's Kenise from Kenise Co. I decided to paint another sofa because I get tons of questions regarding sofa number two. I'm a question person. She's a question person. So what better project to do? My goal is to answer every question so that when this video is over, nobody has any questions. How much paint is it gonna take? We use less than one quart of paint to cover this entire sofa. We mix together Kissing Booth with Crinoline to create a soft pink. The key to painting upholstery is to water down the paint 10 to 1 and to work it into the fibers of your fabric. Every project will be different because every project is made with a different kind of fabric. Natural fibers will accept paint more easily than synthetic fibers. Dilute your paint a lot with water and work it in. This can take several layers of paint. I have painted four sofas and each one has a different process and a different result depending on the fabric. I'll put the link below to my other sofa painting videos. I never painted a sofa before. So who better to learn from than Debbie Beard? I mean, she's got like, what, four, five, six sofa videos? Have you seen them? I wanted like a medium pink because I wanted to create this tropical situation. So I thought we would mix the two together. How much paint do we need to, to paint a sofa? Mix them together and see what it looks like. How are we gonna do it and not end up with a sofa that's all crunchy? My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking out. What brings me down, yeah. My face. The sofa had very light fabric, so we could paint it almost any color. I haven't had much luck going from a dark fabric to a lighter color, so it's a good idea to always go darker than your original fabric. Using the Mister bottle from the turquoise iris and a sanding sponge, spraying and painting as we go to work the pigments down into the fabric. This is super important. sofa I painted, I will link it up here. I painted that eight years ago and it was crunchy. It had great bones, it just wasn't a great color. Then I painted a velvet sofa. I watered down the paint. Use the paint like a dye. If the paint is sitting on the surface of the fabric, it gets crunchy. But if you work the paint into the fabric, it dyes it and it retains its normal, regular fabric texture. It was my birthday. You said I'm beautiful. To get the paint up under the pleats and the pin tucking of this sofa, I'm using a smaller detailed brush. You will want to pull the fabric apart and get the paint in between the pleats so that when people sit on your sofa, you won't see the original fabric. It's just something you had to do, but I don't believe you. We mix several shades of our original pink color to create a blended look on the sofa using darker colors on the edges and lighter pink where the light would naturally hit it. A spray bottle full of water helps blend the two colors together and make the transition from light to dark seamless. What do you mean you don't love? sofa was white, which is good, right? Because you're wearing a white dress. Gonna sit on the sofa in your white dress? Not until it's all dry. What is the best thing about the fact that this sofa was white? It's easy to cover. DIY paint has a lot of pigment in it. It's beautiful, so you don't need a lot to cover up. And if the sofa were black, it would be really hard to make it pink because you're dyeing the fabric. My sister's a hairdresser, and if I wanted my hair to be your color, we'd have to do all kinds of crazy stuff to it. But if you wanted your hair to be my color, it would be pretty easy. So it's the same kind of thing. One time, I did try to paint dark fabric a lighter color. I put on several watered-down coats, and nothing much happened, so I finally gave up. 
Another time a customer came in and showed me some seat cushions she tried to paint. The fabric never accepted the dye because the fabric was a plastic synthetic type of velvet. So every case will be different and it's always a good idea to do a test. People ask me all the time, can you paint microfiber? Can you paint leather? Can you paint suede? The truth is, I don't know. You have to do a test and see what the results are. We used the turquoise iris spray bottle. We watered down the paint. We probably used twice as much water as we did paint. Like, work it in. Really good. And yeah. then you spray it. And, you and then you work it in some more. DIY paint has five times the pigment than most paints. The key is to put on several light coats and let it dry in between. If you need more than a quart of paint for a sofa, most likely you are doing something wrong. We painted the whole sofa pink. All right, we're done. Yay, we're done. And I'm like, oh no, we're not done. We had to add these from Jamie Ray. They're giant leaf stencils. They sure are fun to work with. How did we do it? All right. I figured I was just gonna take this one slow. I wanted to stencil these giant leaves onto the sofa, but it's tricky because you can't work the paint in in the same way without blurring the lines of the stencil. So I used very little paint and filled in with a brush after the stencil was lifted up. Young boy came back delivering ass. Past the killer attack has been given a pass. Nigga, what you know about that? And bring it back. Back to the back to the past when niggas are rap. Nigga, put it on for the stat and killing the track. Wag niggas when an active pack of trap. Rat is clapping back. Trap is stacking cash. Massive Cadillacs active. We got all the leaves on. We're done. But we weren't done yet. How many days did we spend on this? We could have maybe done it all in one day if we were focused on it. Do you want to sit on this sofa in your cute white dress? No. Why? Because I got this at the Sundance store and I don't want it to turn pink on the bottom. If you sit on the sofa and you're sweaty or you're wearing a swimsuit or you're wearing white pants, is the paint gonna rub off on your clothes? If it's not cured, yes, it could because DIY paint will reactivate if it gets wet. We're gonna use this crystal clear chandelier, liquid patina. It will seal in the paint, but just like the paint, you have to water it down. Living in a world where so much is going on, it's hard to even hear myself think. Will the paint rub off on your clothes? That's the big question. There are several answers. You can heat seal it with a hair dryer. You can apply liquid patina, but you have to be careful and water it down. Or you can wait for the paint to cure. This could take several months. We chose to use liquid patina but it did reactivate the paint and it blurred the lines of the stencil. But what happened? We reactivated the green paint. Once we put the liquid patina on, the two colors kind of blended together. We're like, oh no, we ruined it. So we took a little brush and we outlined the leaves and freshened it up. It gave it more of a handmade look and so it was a happy accident. We went over the stencil lines with the tiny brush, highlighting in different colors to add more dimension. For the most part, I'm super happy with the way this sofa turned out, but there are a few things that I want to change. The rips and tears are no bueno, so stay tuned for a follow-up video. Are we done? We're not actually done, but we needed to be done with the video. So we're gonna have a follow-up to this video and we're gonna show you the part that we don't like. Can you see this right here? The sofa came ripped. It's bad. If you wanna see us fix the part that isn't finished yet, subscribe and ring the bell. Subscribe to Kinesis channel. She also made a video for her channel, her point of view. I'd love if you would subscribe to Kinesco on YouTube and ring the bell. There is one more thing. Can you guess what one it is? One more thing? Yeah. We know what, what we have to do. What? We have to dance. We gotta dance. I'm spending money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on. To find the products used in this video, to find a DIY paint retailer near you, to subscribe to Kinesis channel, or to see the playlist of my other sofa painting videos, click the link below. Thanks for watching. I move the way I do. I just feel